morning, people. Welcome back to F Politics. I was just at the latest Palestine protest, and I was talking to a Jewish Holocaust survivor. You're going to want to hear what he has to say. Why are you here today? Well, I'm here for several reasons. One is the most obvious one, to express solidarity for the Palestinian people and protest against the genocide going on. But also, I am here to protest against the misuse of the Holocaust, the memory of the Second World War Holocaust. I am a child survivor. I was seven years old when uh, uh, I had to be in hiding and in, in Budapest, Hungary. And 15 members of my family have died in the Holocaust. And I find it, and find it insulting to the memory of Holocaust that it's being invoked as a justification by Netanyahu and the State of Israel as, and cover for the ongoing genocide in Gaza. And thirdly, I am here to show that Jewish people are welcome and they are not subject to anti-Semitism in these marches. Quite the opposite. People are warmly welcoming. And I've been on 11 or 12 marches, and my personal experience always the same. And I think to say that these are unsafe places for Jews is a lie, a complete lie. Thank you very much. Do you have a message for the government? Oh, oh my message to the government is stop arming Israel, stop, uh, stop supporting the genocide, and... Uh, Renew funding for UNRWA to, to, to help distributing food and medicine to the besieged people in Gaza. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I also bumped into some counter-protesters who were supporting the Israeli government. So I figured I'd see what they had to say for themselves. This, this all arose because innocent Jewish children, young men and women, way younger than me, were massacred at parties. Babies, women, and children were taken hostage and had been killed in tunnels at a, uh, in, in, by, by a government that is devout to try and destroy the state of Israel, the only Jewish state in the world. What would you say to the idea of Hamas standing trial in the International Criminal Court after this, as well as Netanyahu, because he has gone to he has gone too far in terms of the killing of innocent people. Because both Hamas and Netanyahu are responsible for indiscriminately killing both civilians. I, I'm a lawyer, and I have a very strong view of the nature of the International Criminal Court. I don't think it's an appropriate body for anything. So. General, uh, as a general principle, standing some sort of trial or at least facing some kind of justice because both Hamas and Netanyahu are going to go. No, but you're using a narrative there that is uncalled for. You're describing a legitimate democratic government in the same breath as you're describing a prescribed terrorist organization. But, okay, but wouldn't, wouldn't you say that some democratically elected governments can do the wrong thing and therefore should stand trial? Name one. Well, I mean, the UK has done bad things, Israel's done bad things, the US has done bad things. And who's been who's been held to go to trial? I think I think I think Tony Blair should go. I think Tony Blair. I think they should. Yeah, I agree. They should all go. To, they should, but I'm not, I don't disagree with Unfortunately, you. Unfortunately, there's there's double standards when it comes to Israel. But I be, I believe they should all stand trial. Well, I I don't agree with that. You, you don't think they should stand no. trial? No. So you okay? So you're okay with the idea of government to be able to get away with anything? Would you agree to the idea of both Hamas and the Netanyahu government facing judgment in a criminal court afterwards? Uh, for sure, but that would mean that they would have to, you would, ha you would have to be able to prove that any, any uh, crimes against humanity would have been, had been committed from both sides. And I think it's very clear that crimes against humanity have been committed by Hamas. I'm not sure that that's the case with the Israelis at all, but, quite on the contrary. But he's... 30, at least 30,000 people. The UN has just revised those figures down. You cannot trust yeah, anything the Hamas says. They, they, they are down, terrorists. But, but maintain them at 35,000. They maintained it at 35,000. I don't know what Hamas is saying. Uh, I, I'm not going to dispute the figures because I don't have any, okay. any but, access to the sources. As, as a I, general principle, a lot more people have died in Palestine. And that's very unfortunate. Very, very so unfortunate. So don't you think there should be some kind of justice for that? For sure. 
<laughs> but this is a, but this is a people that died in in in, uh, in Palestine died as a result of an act of defense on the part on the part of the Israeli government. They did not die they did not die gratuitously as as an uh, the the. Palestinian people were never the target of any Israeli actions. Do you believe there's a limit to the concept of self-defense in terms of, is it self, if, if I, if somebody punches me, is it self-defense to wipe out his entire family? But that's not the case. But what, no, if, if the idea is you're attacking Hamas, but you've accidentally killed 30,000 people, but the, responsibility, that is disproportionate. but the responsibility is entirely for Hamas. Hamas is hiding behind that population. They are not defending that population. That's why I said, I think the Palestinian people are actually hostages of Hamas. So if there was a terrorist organization here in London, would you support, an, and they bombed somebody else, would you support another country bombing London? What, 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 what kind of parallel is that? I'm not well, sure in, I the idea is they're bombing Gaza because there are bad people in Gaza. There's Hamas in Gaza. If there are bad people here, would you support bombing London indiscriminately? Uh, but uh, that, 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 that's, that's entirely illogical. Why? That's a, a completely illogical proposition. Why? London has also actually been, been, been bombed, if you remember. There were attacks here in the tube. Do you okay. remember? In yeah, 7th yeah. of July. Yeah. Um, but, the but, but, but I, I don't even understand the point you're trying to make. No, you we, say it's okay to bomb Gaza because there is Hamas in Gaza. No, no, if I didn't Ga say that. I said what Israel is trying to do is wipe out Hamas. Okay, and but Hamas is hiding to... behind behind the, the, the yeah. civilian population of Gaza. No, that no, that no, I find even no, even and, and more abhorrent than anything and, else. And if there were terrorists hiding oh, here no. in London, hiding behind innocent London civilians, yeah, but we would be. But we we have government. We have a. Government and we have institutions that might deal with that. We don't need another country to come yeah. here and deal with that. Let, let, whereas, whereas in Gaza, that's not the case. The population of Gaza are entirely, entirely under the uh, the thumb of Hamas. They do not have the freedom to free themselves from Hamas themselves. But that, uh, that's only even more reason to say but, that they shouldn't suffer the consequences of no, Hamas. No, Hamas is an ex existential threat to Israel. Okay. And as such, Israel has to deal with it. Any country would do that. Even if it means wiping out 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 people. That's a, that's, a, that's, that's a proportional response to 1,200 people being killed in, 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 in Israel. But I dispute the figures. And if you remember, it, the, the no, UN... Let's even call it 10,000. Call it 10, I'm afraid that's war. But it's not war, is it? Because the people in Gaza live in effectively an open-air prison. The Israeli government controls who goes in, who comes out, what goes in, what goes out. So it's effectively like shooting your own prisoners. And Israel has one of the most advanced militaries in the entire world. So we can debate the morality of what prisoners have the right to do to escape their captors, but ultimately it is pretty much like shooting fish in a barrel. And they don't seem to care how many of those fish die. Because I remember when I was at the march against anti-Semitism, and one Jewish guy there, he told me the one thing he wanted people to understand was that Jewish people are not a monolith. They don't all think the same. And so I hope from those interviews with very different viewpoints from Jewish people, you can see that this isn't a divide between Jewish people and everybody else. It's between people with humanity, basic respect for human life, and everybody else. I'm Femi. Make sure you follow F Politics. If politics has an F you, have a great week.